You ever think about compounding technology? Oh, it's this very, very slow start. But then most of the biggest technological breakthroughs have happened in the last century or so. So like we wouldn't have had anything like the car if we weren't able to harness electricity and be able to like route it through factories to make assembly lines and like even like something like that we wouldn't have the iphone because like you need an assembly line to like make the iphone and like the mac and all that shit and we we wouldn't have uber if you didn't have the app store you know it's just like like the more and all these are just building blocks and the further we go in time like the faster these things come out because they're just building on the progress of shit before it there was a guy i talked to at that summit that was talking he's building something that i think most people are kind of going towards in like web3 where you have very i don't have a synonym for interoperable right now but being able to just pick out technologies or just like things that provide value and fit it into anywhere and like very much so making things on top of each other taking things out and it still exists because like when you think of like blockchain stuff like you have the initial foundation stuff and then people build stuff on top of that and i think that next step is a lot more you can plug things in and, and, and unplug things a lot easier um in terms of i don't know technology or apps or something but the the the, the word compounding because you hear like exponential growth of technology but the the compounding analogy i haven't really heard that's that's a that's a nice one yeah i just i just look around at stuff and i'm just like we wouldn't really have this if we didn't have this first yeah you know yeah it's a good perspective so it's it'll be interesting to see where things go 15 years man it's gonna get wild in 15 years it's gonna be nuts Think well, about 15 it. 15 years ago. Remember you were like in fourth grade, the world wasn't that different. Mm-hmm. I always think about that. I'm like, bro, it was so different. In 2000, what, 2006? Sure. Now, all right, in t- first 2021, if I was the same age in 2006, if I wanted to eat, I had to go or, or get on the phone and maybe order a pizza, you know, by looking in the phone book or something. Mm-hmm. Now I can order any food. I can order any transportation. I can take my porn on the go. Like most businesses I interact with now are in my pocket. Yeah. It's like a, a, va- a hugely different world than. I was going to say, like I said, the, the second wave of, of apps and everything is what made most technology. So having uh, the next iteration of foundational tech, is going to be, what does that look like? That's why I wanted people's opinions on. Because this made a lot of different things. Having mobile internet, like you said, people are making apps and things. Um, next plausible yeah. thing is people making apps and technology via AR things, VR things. But there's something else that is a little more. And I think it's more so of like building technologies that are interoperable with other things and, and moving around value. I'll flesh it out. What are you going to say? Do you remember when the app store first came out and all the apps were like not really toys? It was like a beer drinking app and a flashlight app and Uh, I remember the beer drinking apps. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of that in the metaverse to start. Yeah, yeah. Before it gets serious, I feel like. Yeah, it's all man. Just look at the past. That's where everything comes from, uh, quite literally. But also, I don't know. You don't. You only experience now, but uh, these cycles that you can that you're able to study with people archiving things, um, and even before that, I was I was going to talk about like if Tesla had his vision of technology come to fruition versus other people's technology ideas, uh, it would be a different timeline. And even thinking about that, and thinking about how that might coincide with this timeline what was his fruit what was his vision he enjoyed i believe um free energy for all 
uh he found a way with like the tesla coil just to transfer things um non-centralized kind of um and then ford mm -hmm. kind of op comp pushed him out of the space um with i wonder how that would work <laughs> free technology. like would it be better or worse i mean the the timeline if, if he came out i mean like just for like the general public like if there's a huge storm in la the power is probably not going to go out because like the company power company's making a lot of money so they have an incentive to keep it on but if the power is free for everyone like would it just be a worse experience for your everyday joe or it depends on people's incentives i suppose if people enjoy uh power then you might have communities trying to make sure it's all good um you think people don't upkeep power if they have no financial incentive behind them well i mean you got to go to school to learn about electricity and that costs money and electricians make a pretty good living so i feel like people wouldn't do that unless like there was some reward to do it what if you took school out of it and made it more trade-based because the schooling system is also very uh, important to financial aspects of American society. Both well, grabbing capital and just like putting people uh, into jobs. Being an electrician isn't like being a doctor. You got to go to like That's what I'm saying. You so and so university. You can go to fucking LA Community College and be an electrician in like two years. You know, it's not very expensive to do. So it's kind of, it's one of those things. It's kind of like a plumber. Everybody needs it. Not a lot of people want to do it, but it pays a lot. Uh, like it's like it's like a trade job, which I think like should be taught low key in high school. But um, yeah, I feel like people like only do that because it it pays a lot. Because first of all, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Second of all, it sucks. I think, in my opinion. And you got to like learn a lot of like technical shit, and like people don't want to do that for free. Most people don't. Yeah. Value transactions are interesting, man. Very, very interesting. I've noticed the if you look at like how much of a danger a job is to your life, at least in America, you usually get paid more. Like you could be a sanitation worker downtown LA and make close to six figures because you're dealing with like needles and shit shit that could fuck you fuck up your life there is a premium on dirty jobs and also because most people don't want to do them probably it's because the too. there's a premium on uh the the safety of it there's no money no amount of money he could pay me to do that job personally i'll, I'll do it for like two weeks what you got <laughs> what if they're like okay oh, hey, six billion dollars but you have to do this until you retire retire now Time is a good a good capital to have. I'm sure after like a month, bro. I'm sure after like a year or two, you'd be like, you know, this job isn't that bad. And plus I'll have six billion dollars. Can I quit like four months in? You can't quit. What, what do I get for like two months? Nothing. You got to You don't you don't get a dime unless you make it to 60. Ah. It's just an, it's just a regular paycheck. And then you 60. They're like, OK, six billion dollars untaxed. Ah, that's that's that's. Way too much trust I have to have in that. Oh, we get a smart contract in there. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if I would do that. No. I I, I mean, do people still die around 100 years old? I feel like I'd be like, you know, I'll just try to make $6 billion myself. And then I get to 60 and I'm not there. And I'm like, fuck. I'll probably have more. I'll probably have more fun trying to get there than I would getting there. You know, yeah, I mean, you don't need $6 billion. You have it. Give me $2 billion. That's fine. I just want 79, bro, per year. It's good. Not that much. You got a couple of different assets coming in. What, 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 man? Good company. Hey, man.